right. Welcome to Hasifi, everybody, a city that Ivana and I are having a very good first impressions of. So this morning, we went to a 400 or so year old fort that was actually built by the Dutch because Hasifi was a Dutch colony for something like 24 years in the 1600s. And inside the fort is a fully air conditioned and fully free <laughs> museum, which we really enjoyed, where we learned that Hasifi is sometimes known as the Venice of Brazil. Now, to be clear, Ivana and I have been in Venice only for three days. True. But we would say this comparison is a loose comparison. It's not exactly an exact comparison. <laughs> True. But there are a bunch of rivers and bridges around Hasifi. There are sort of two big islands that the city is built on. And it's a big city of something like four million people in the mm -hmm. urban area. Now, after the museum in the fort, we went to a place called the Casa do Cultura, which is like the house of culture. Yeah. Where we were introduced to a man named Luis Gonzalez. So my understanding is there was a time in Brazil when the only music was really coming from the coast. Mm -hmm. And Luis Gonzalez was like a voice for the voiceless because he represented the people living inland who were for lack of a better term, cowboys. Right. And they dress in full leathers, despite the fact that it's super duper hot out here. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so very impressive, very sort of uh, rural people. And I will say this, the museum this morning in the fort was free to enter and you could see the whole thing in about half an hour, but the Casa do Cultura was 10 hay ice and it was worth every penny. It was the first museum I've ever seen with a river inside. Mm -hmm. It was super elaborate. There was tons of interesting information and it was absolutely a five-star museum. Yeah, now, one thing we learned in Casa do Cultura was that this Luis Gonzalez not only made music, but he actually invented like genres of music. Like entire genres he came up with. And some of these genres are sort of intrinsic to the Hasifi carnival. Oh yeah. So breaking news, Ivana and I, I think, have decided we will be in Hasifi for Carnival. It seems like the timing is right on our road trip and Hasifi is known for this culture of Carnival. People, yeah. have, people have told us they have the friendliest people, they have the best beaches. Sort of a famous uh, cultural location here in Brazil. And with this in mind, we're now going to another museum, which is the Museum of... Frevo. Frevo. Which is like a style of music, a style of dance that they do a lot during the Carnival here in Hasifi. So, wanna check it out? Muito bom. This is going to be our carnival preparation, sort of. Yes. Very good. Let's go. Introducing Frevo, both dance and music, which seems to be interesting in just about every way. So first things first, check out this museum. It's really, really well done. There's not an inch of space that is left unused, including the floors. So at first sight, it sort of reminds me of something kind of from a circus. I don't mean that in a, in a mean way, but it's very bright colors. The outfits are often very sort of like a court jester for lack of a better term. And the dance moves are wildly interesting to watch because there seems to be no rhyme or reason or right or wrong way to dance Frevo. It's part tap dance at times, part ballet up on the toes, uh, part capoeira at times, mm -hmm. part break dancing. Yes. It's really exciting to watch and I think we've made the right choice to have Carnival here. Yes. Because Frevo is going to be on full display for our Carnival uh, experience. Excited. Now the history of Frevo, it sort of occurred naturally because slaves were um, inventing dance moves and inventing music and sort of marching along with these big signs and one thing led to another through the natural history of Brazil and you end up with things like this being held up 
as a big sign, sort of, with a king's crown on top and people dancing wildly to very fast, very creative music. Uh, I'm very excited for Carnival. Mm -hmm. I think we've made the right choice here in Hasiji. Wow, great museum. Man, Rivo is actually so good exercise. <laughs> Her legs are so strong. I think my Frevo days are behind me. Yep. <laughs> By the way, this museum is one of the best we've ever been to. Yeah, I like it. I love this museum. Yes. The history, the visuals, really well organized. One of the best museums we've ever been to. Five stars. Wait till all. Listen, guys, I don't think I was wrong to say it's a bit circusy. <laughs> it's a bit circusy. Oh, are you gonna wear that for the carnival, Steve? Oh. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, stay tuned to our channel because when carnival gets a little closer, we are gonna buy things like this. This good? This is like a carnival preparation store. It looks really good, Ivana. It really fits your face, actually. <laughs> so just outside of the Frevo Museum is this uh, shop selling decorations and everything under the sun for carnival. Ivana, I'm excited for Hasifi Carnival. Muy <laughs> bon. I tell you what, Carnival is all around us here because we've actually found what will be the main stage. You can probably hear a little bit of construction in the background as they construct what will be the main stage for Carnival. And it is in front of what they're calling Marco Zero, which I guess is like kilometer zero. It's like the first brick that was laid in the construction of Hasifi. And all around us are beautiful architectural and historical buildings. And we actually saw a minute ago the first synagogue in all of the Americas, which is attached to some amazing history because the Jewish people that were here in the 1600s actually fled when the Dutch uh, were conquered by the Portuguese. And so those Jewish people were the ones who fled to New Amsterdam, which as we know it today is New York. So in a bit of funny trivia, if you are a Jewish person in New York, you might be a descendant of somebody who used to live here in Hasifi. Now, right beside Marco Zero, we have what it looks to be a riverfront because of this big reef on the far side. But as it turns out, uh, the word Hasifi comes from the Portuguese word, which means reef, because there was a massive and naturally occurring limestone reef all across here which sort of gives the effect of a river although this is the open sea now in current times you can go and take a boat ride to go over to the far side of the reef because they put concrete on top of the naturally occurring limestone reef and they've made it kind of a tourist attraction with a big monument on top but very nice place down here and i am getting very excited for carnival oh yeah it seems like everywhere i look i'm getting vibes of carnival and just feeling the buzz true they're prepping stages everywhere in the city uh-huh like we've seen i don't know six stages or something six or seven and i think this is the main one because yeah. it's right at mark zero right 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 very very right. nice now there's actually a catamaran tour you can do which goes underneath a bunch of the bridges and maybe gives you some of that venice of brazil feeling yeah. although ivana and i are probably gonna skip it we're both feeling hungry <laughs> true so with that being said let's go get food get some food all right So I think we found the right restaurant to eat at. Very thematically designed and decorated. Uh -huh. Looks like it's all for Carnival. If anyone knows what the statues are above my head, let me know. <laughs> I guess it's for Carnival, although it looks a bit like Halloween. It looks a bit right, scary. Right, right, right. And I will say this, big shout out to the guys behind me uh -huh. who are doing hard labor at after hours, 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, doing a good job. Now I got 
frango parmigiana, staple food in Brazil. I guess in Hasifi it comes with spaghetti and not rice and beans. Right. Kind of yes. like parmigiana with rice and beans. But really? spaghetti, spaghetti also like good. Spaghetti. Spaghetti better for yes. you. There you have it. But now, Yvonne got... and I will share. Moqueca, fish moqueca. And we'll also share the moqueca. Yes. Muito bom. Uh, great day. Cannot Let's beat it. Enjoy. It's been a good first impressions of Hasifi. I will say this, in Hasifi, if you're walking along the side of the road and you want to cross the road on the zebra crossing, uh -huh. the cars will not stop. <laughs> True. Some parts of Brazil they stop, some parts no. Obrigado. But in Hasifi, they don't stop. Yes. So good luck. Yes. There you have it guys. Thanks for joining our vlog. Next vlog from Olinda, right yeah, beside Hasifi. Yeah, look at this restaurant. Very cool. And we'll hear a band playing soon behind me. Okay, let's enjoy the food. Let's see. Muito bom. Muito bom.